What's going on guys? It's been a while since I made a video, but I'm actually on the way to do some maintenance to the truck. I haven't cleaned the intake, to be honest with you guys, since I bought it over a year and a half ago. So, God bless this motor. I'm gonna go ahead and take the intake off, go ahead and give it a little rinse down, clean that up, and then I'm actually going to go do a throttle body maintenance on it. I'm gonna pull the intake tube off and just look at the throttle body. Make sure the flap's not really getting full of gunk, which GMs are known for. Um, do some carb cleaner on it, wipe it down real smooth just to improve uh, the response time if it can be improved. Let's go. Here she is, the workhorse. Hasn't really been cleaned in a while, so since now that I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a kind of little wipe down, kind of get all this nasty dust off, but overall we're gonna go ahead and pull this guy out, um, clean this one out. And then we're gonna pull this intake tube off, get to the throttle body, and spray some uh, carb cleaner in there and wipe it down. Let's get started. So we've already taken off the four screws that pretty much house the cover. Now I gotta unscrew pretty much the intake actual tube that connects to the filter. That way I can pull the filter out and begin the cleaning process. Go ahead and spray the cleaner on. It says liberally. Goddamn liberals. You gotta let it soak for about 10 minutes. So, just gonna let it get all in there. Let her sit. All right. Intake throttle body's not clean. Reinstalling my hose. I don't recommend using a flat screwdriver because you really can't get it as tight as you should. So I'll be switching over to a socket in a few moments. But just for the sake of having the flat screwdriver here, I'll go ahead and start mocking it up. So it is all done. Cleaned up the engine bay. It takes brand new. 